Hi, my name is Dr. Aziz. I'm one of these psychiatrists on the ward. I was hoping we could have a chat. Why? Well, it would be really helpful to find out what's been happening recently. Then we can figure out how to help. Yeah, is she like? Okay. I have a medical student with me. Is it okay if she joins us? Yeah, all right. Thanks. Hi, my name is Rachel. I'm one of the medical students. So, why don't you start by telling me what brought you into hospital? That must have been awful. How long ago did you come to this country? Two years. And do you have any family here? Just Amina, my daughter. I lost my husband back there. I'm sorry. It's okay. How has your sleep been recently? I can't sleep. Two, maybe three hours. And do you have nightmares? It's the people around my estate. What happened with them? Well, I, I didn't do anything. I just mind my own business. And I started realising they were talking about me. And watching me. That must be upsetting. Have you done anything about it? I had to make sure that they couldn't get to me. So I blocked them out. I see. Sounds like this is really affecting your life. Have you heard them talking about you? Well, you don't have to me because what would you do? Yeah. I just want them to leave me alone. Have you been feeling on edge that you get shocked quite easily? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> I can see how difficult all this has been for you. Why is this happening? Well, I think you're not well. You could stay here for a while. We could do some tests and try and get to the bottom of this. In the meantime, I could give you some medication to help you relax. I just want it all to stop. I know what you mean, John. But no need to worry, you're in the right place for help. I know you're taking an antidepressant. I think it would be a good idea to try some therapy as well. I'm not sure I can talk about it. Well, if we suppress traumatic experiences, they can resurface as the symptoms you're having. So flashbacks, nightmares, and there's good evidence that therapy can help. Can I be seen by a woman? Well. I can ask our psychologist if I can provide the therapy. Yes. Okay. Great. This is Nikki, one of the nurses. Hi. Hello. And Tom, the boss. Ward manager. Hi. Shafiq, seen our new guy. What's the plan? I'll write up some PR in meds then do a physical and some investigations. We'll have to observe him for a while. OK, we'll put him on enhanced obs. We're going to do meds. You can tell me the rest when I'm done. Ready, Nikki? Yep. Come on. Well, I like my writing to be legible, unlike the doctors. Ha <laughs> ha. So, Rachel, what's your differential? Um, paranoid schizophrenia. What else? Could it be a delusional disorder? Possibly, but the hallucinations would go against it. What else?
drug-induced psychosis. Good. And? Uh, I'm not sure. Physical causes? There are lots that can cause this presentation. Did you see the scar on the forehead? You could have had a head injury. Okay, let's assume you've done your investigation and it is schizophrenia. What's your treatment plan? Um, antipsychotics. Yes. Which neurotransmitters do they mainly regulate? Uh, dopamine. Good. But always think biopsychosocial when it comes to treatment. Remember, you're treating the patient, not body part. Yeah, thanks.